Today we're looking at one of the most magnificent breeds, the Malinois, and how playful they are or aren't. Stick around to find out and we'll go over some games that you can play with your Malinois too. Welcome back to the Fenrir Malinois Show. My name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Malinois, then how to become high-level canine leaders who can raise the perfect Malinois companion. So if you're a lifelong Malinois lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new Malinois pup, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Malinois video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the playfulness of this energetic breed. Almost every canine breed on the planet will be quite playful through their first year and many will continue to behave like puppies in some ways for up to their first two to four years of life. The age that a dog reaches maturity varies from breed to breed and many other influences impact this on an individual level. Like people, some individuals are more introverted than others, even if the breed is generally outgoing. So with that in mind, we're going to be looking at the Malinois' general playfulness. But remember, each canine is unique. So with all that out the way, let's dig right in and look at one of the most significant factors in a breed's playfulness, their energy level. The Malinois reaches maturity around two to three years of age, and with their puppy and teenage years coming to a close, their energy level tends to drop. They are generally a very high energy breed, but they will range closer to the top of that energy scale for the first three years of life. When motivated and no matter their age, be prepared to see this energetic canine companion turn into the agile and athletic dog that they were meant to be. Remember this breed has been used to guard and herd flocks for a very long time and has even been used in military and police work. That means they're made to work long and hard hours. Teaching them a game like hide and seek in a controlled environment could be one way to work their mind and instincts while still playing with your Malinois. Make sure their reward for finding you or your hidden object is worthy of their effort to keep it an interesting game for their razor sharp minds. The Malinois is incredibly trainable and willing to please their calm consistent leader. If your idea of a playful companion is one who loves to play with a tug toy, run after a ball or run obstacle courses, then the Malinois could be a great fit. They are high achievers who need a good bit of exercise several times a day. They will settle in and chew on a bone or toy, but be prepared for them to fling it around if they're feeling particularly energised, and take this as a sign that you need to interact with them in a way that works their mind and body. Obedience drills could be a great solution to this, since they can be done in the home or outside on a walk, and the Malinois excels at that kind of work. Hey guys, just a really quick message. I just wanted to let you know, if you didn't know already, that my first published book is officially out and available now. It's called Raising and Training Perfect Puppies, The Missing Secret of Success, where I boil down all of my skill set, experience and knowledge into the pages of this book to help set you up for huge amounts of success with your puppy. If you are interested, there'll be links in the description box below. It's available worldwide on Amazon. I really hope you find it as valuable as I'm sure that you will. But until then, I'll let you get back to the video you were just enjoying. Canines typically play a bit more with children and feed off their energy, and the Malinois is no exception. This is one area where their high energy can cause problems if you've got children, even though they are typically very tolerant and gentle around them. When raised together, many families never have a problem worse than accidentally knocking a child over or getting swatted by a wagging tail. But their family will see the playful side of that Malinois that others may never get to see. This is partly because they are rather aloof with strangers and they prefer to be with family. It can cause them to be more reserved in those public spaces. Some might prefer a long walk or run while others prefer hide and seek and still others might think that playing with a tug is the best game ever. You'll need to try different things and see what your Malinois likes and adapt as they age or get bored. Most Malinois enjoy some wrestling and light roughhousing with the adults in the family since this means that they get a lot of direct attention that isn't structured like obedience drills. Speaking of attention, let's look at how inclined the Malinois is towards affection versus independence. Like most working breeds, they are happiest when the whole family is home, but they can do quite well alone too. Give them a few toys to play with during the day and a good solid bit of exercise in the morning and you might come home to find that your Malinois hasn't moved from their post at all once they've reached that mature age. 
Before that age, they are prone to the same mischief of all young canines, and as their energy collides with boredom, they do usually find an often destructive way to entertain themselves. When you're home, they'll track you from room to room and can snuggle up as close as they can get. Several long walks or runs and some playtime on the floor, lots of positive attention are the favourite activity for this breed once they've grown up. Overall, the Malinois tends to be fairly balanced in playfulness. They'll play more and play harder when they're still puppies, of course, and will mellow out as most other canines as they age. You'll probably get a solid hour of quality playtime with your mature Malinois several times each day and plenty of their adoring gazes. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comments section below, and don't forget if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have two dedicated Malinois videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Malinois Show.